you had a, a front row seat to Gavin Stone tonight. How fun was it for you to watch him go out there and not only do something we haven't seen in two years, but obviously give the team a boost and rest the bullpen? Man, um, he looked like the bulldog tonight. Um, <laughs> you know, that was uh, that was really fun to watch. Um, I think that, you know, you can sense a player that the game slows down when they can um, – Specifically, a pitcher, starting pitcher, where they can focus on their on the game plan, executing pitches, but also understand, you know, what's around them, what's happening around. Them. Uh, today, we today we are coming into the game very very short in the pen, and so certainly to be able to keep that in the back of your mind and know what's expected of you as a starter uh, on that particular night, and then to still go out there and execute pitches and, and do what he did uh, was was pretty special, and. Um, I think that's our first complete game of the year, his first of his career. And uh, there was still more in there. And uh, he wasn't stressed at all. Uh, the command was an 80 tonight. Uh, Austin, I just got to give him so much credit for the fingers and sequencing. And when you're talking about going three times through the lineup and even a few hitters four times through, uh, you've got to do some different things. And there weren't many balls hit. Robert hit that ball really well to uh, – the line out to Rojas, but outside of that, there wasn't a whole yeah. lot of hard contact. And uh, seventh punch, no walk, and just in complete control, just a dominant performance. And um, for a young player, you know, with service time like that, um, was uh, really uh, exciting and encouraging for all of us. How mature beyond his years is Gavin Stone? A uh, very mature young man. Um, think that you know some of the guys in the clubhouse act their age but uh, Gavin is very mature uh, very disciplined and uh, you know understands that he's got a job to do and he does everything he can in his power uh, to prepare and to perform well and uh, you know those are important things and so again um, he wasn't running from the eighth wasn't running from the ninth and he had the blinders on all night long Nine pitch, eighth inning. Can you take us through what you're thinking and seeing starting in the seventh when you're allowing him to, to keep going? Yeah, the seventh, I, I felt really comfortable in him starting the seventh. Um, like I said, there was no stress. It didn't look like he was laboring as far as trying to command the wow. baseball. Um, and then the eighth, um, I, I just, again, the pitch count was low, wasn't stressed. He got the quick uh, pop-up. And then... Um, you know, thinking about potentially uh, Panda getting uh, Lopez and taking on the Amendic tax, um, I, I didn't. I, I just felt that his stuff was good enough to, to get through that inning, which he did pretty uh, easily. And then the ninth, it was going to be a shorter leash um, with Alex behind him. He was going to finish the game tonight. And then, um, you know, once he got uh, Sosa. Uh, fam, you know, two strike base hit, and then uh, I just felt that you know it was sort of his game, and I was going to have him take on Robert as well. He was going to be ready for jolts, but um, you know, just the way he was throwing the baseball, um, I wanted it to be his game, and uh, I think he was smelling it. He won ten of his last eleven starts. How much of a rock has he become in that rotation? He, he's uh, he, he's a rock in the rotation. Um, I think certain pitchers, you know, you get in tough games, tight ball games, you have a lead. Um, they find ways to lose games. Um, but Gavin is a guy that he's a winner. He knows how to uh, finish innings. He knows how to limit damage. Uh, he doesn't run from the third time through. And so, you know, where every starting pitcher can't say that. They're looking in the pen and, and things like that. But a guy like Gavin, he's very unique. And um, he's, he's a lot of really talented pitchers around him, you know, namely Clayton and, and some other guys that he can emulate and, and kind of find his own little way. And he's creating his own uh, path, which is fun. Did you know that you were just looking out for the bullpen after the seventh inning? I, I, no, you know what? I, I don't think he was looking at the pen. I, I think he was looking at his pitch. No. Um, I think. Um, so, yeah, I don't think he was. And if he was, I'd be pretty surprised. 
Dave, another lead off on from El Tony. How does that set the tone for the lineup? It is, it's great. You know, it's, it's a quick infusion of energy. And Shohei is just really on the heater right now and swing the bat so well. You know, the leadoff homers, the consecutive games with the run batted in, um, all that stuff. Just taking, took, took two walks tonight. Um, if they throw it over the plate, you know, in his zone, he, he's going to hit it hard. So it's just the discipline that, that he's showing, making him, you know, the most dangerous hitter on the planet. What do you think of what Artie Green is? He's he was uh, he was in a little funk a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So this this thing that he's going on, you know, if Shohei wasn't doing what he's doing, you know, Freddie would be up for in the conversation for Player of the Week the last few weeks. But you know, Shohei's uh, on another level right now. But just the consistency of his bat, you know, the double to drive and a couple runs, uh, made a nice defensive play. And you know, when you're talking about uh, ability. With Freddie, it's available, and the guy posts every single night. Uh, it doesn't matter who's taking the mound against him, and he's going to put forth good at bats. And so that's something that, for me, uh, I count on heavily. Thank nice you, guys. Yep. Thank you. Guys.